so hello guys our today's topic is the finish line so what are the various finish line the various finish line they are they are chamfer heavy chamfer shoulder sloping shoulder radial shoulder shoulder with bevel knife edge or chisel edge suppose a dentist preparing a dental crown he decided to utilize the chamfer tooth preparation technique so in this practice the dentists the dentist plan so in this particular case the dentist plan to incorporate cast metal crowns so let us know where the chamfer line is indicated so chef uh, the chamfer line it is indicated in the case of cast metal crowns and it is indicated in the metal only portion of metal ceramic crown along with the lingual margin of metal ceramic crown so why it is the preferred choice why the chamfer line is the preferred choice in case of cast metal and lingual margin of the metal ceramic crown because it has a accurate fit the chamfer margin will provide a precise margin that will allow for accurate adaptation of the restoration material ensuring a ensuring a secure and snug fit so that is it is important for the cast metal restoration where a proper fit that contributes to the longevity and the functional integrity of the restoration second the cast metal restoration require us require a strong retention as we know that cast metal restoration due to their high biting forces they encounter we need a strong retention in that case so the chamfer finish line uh, along with the characteristic of cast metal offer a excellent retention properties so that will ensure the restoration to remain securely in that place other part is the cementation the chamfer line design provides ample space for cementing the material to flow and create a strong bond between the restoration and the prepared tooth the chamfer finish lines it work particularly well for the lingual margin of the metal ceramic restoration that results a harmonious blend between the aesthetic and the strength the chamfer line is gentler on the gum tissue compared to the other margin so reducing the chances of irritation and inflammation so uh, it is important and crucial for the lingual margins where the gum health preservation where the gum health preservation is important for both the comfort and the aesthetic now what are the tools for preparation 
we use a torpedo diamond bar which bar torpedo diamond bar that is tapered diamond with a round tip the bar uses tapered diamond with a with a round tip it is used to create this type of finish line so remember the diamond bar it is held precisely in the intended path of the withdrawn of the withdrawal of the restoration if you if it is tilted if if it is tilted away from the tooth so that that can create a undercut and angling it toward the tooth will will lead to over reduction and loss of retention so tilting it away from the tooth it will create undercut whereas angling it toward the tooth will lead to over reduction and loss of and the loss of retention so other important feature is the chamfer should not be prepared wider than the half the tip of diamond otherwise otherwise lipping would occur so all the unsupported enamel must be removed and chamfer should not be prepared wider than the half the tip of diamond now what are the advantages it provides adequate bulk for the material so it will reduce the stress it will uh, the margin will results in less stress on the tooth and the restoration leading to better longevity second they have a good success rate and it is suitable for the cast metal restoration and the lingual margin of the metal ceramic restoration the cast restoration fit with a cute edge with the nearly bulk of the metal so these are the indications these are the advantages the indications are preferred in cast metal crowns metal only portion of metal ceramic crown and lingual margin of metal ceramic crown so what are the disadvantages the chamfer finish margin may now uh, might not be suitable for restoration where finish line will be readily visible incorrect reduction during preparation can lead to enamel fragility causing potential complication but if deep chamfer it is used to provide 90 degree cavo surface angle with a large radius sound rounded internal line angle so that is created with a round and tapered diamond so this uh, this unspotted fragile enamel can fracture as as the undesirable preparation the hand of unskilled operator can lead to a uh, lead to fragile lip of enamel at the cavo surface a bevel can be added to the deep chamfer so bevel can be added to heavy chamfer 
for the carved metal preparation. A heavy chamber variation is used to create. It is used to create a 90 degree. angle 90 degree cavo surface angle with the large round radius the next is the shoulder shoulder finish line is one that makes a 90 degree angle with the vertical axis of the preparation so remember the shoulder they are prefer for all ceramic restorations ensuring adequate margin thickness for the structural strength so in shoulder the sharp right angle transaction of the shoulder that allows for the clean and aesthetically pleasing junction between the restoration and the natural tooth that contributes to the natural looking smile so Uh, they are well suited for all ceramic restoration due to their structural benefit remember the shoulder finish line it is used in the anterior restorations to achieve a pleasing aesthetic other is the wide ledge of the shoulder finish that contributes to the uh, that contributes to the strength and resistance of the restoration so how it is prepared it is prepared using a flat and flat and tapering diamond so the shoulder finish line features a gingival finish line that is perpendicular to the axial surface of the of the tooth so what are the advantages it has a increased structural rigidity it provides space for healthy restoration maximum aesthetics bulk of restoration so, so the shoulder finish line they are preferred for all ceramic restorations the wide ledge of shoulder should of the uh, shoulder finish line provides the resistance and good durability so what are the disadvantages remember preparing a shoulder finish line requires more tooth reduction compared to the other finish line so there is excess tooth destruction bulky and unsuitable margin could be there uh, the internal line angle concentrate stress that could lead to coronal fracture so these are the advantages and the disadvantages of the shoulder preparation so it is indicated in all ceramic restoration or the facial margins of metal ceramic crowns so it is preferred in the aesthetic region so these are the advantages it provides bulk of restorative material less conservation of the tooth structure stress concentration at 90 degree internal angle of finish that can lead to coronal fracture it is indicated in the facial margin of metal ceramic crown or the complete ceramic crown where aesthetic is very important other is the shoulder with a bevel a bevel of 0.3 to 0.5 mm it is placed to form recommended obtuse finish angle so it is indicated in the facial surface of metal ceramic restorations proximal box of inlays onlays occlusion shoulders of onlays and mandibular 3 4 crowns in shoulder margin where caries restorations they are present so it removes the unspotted enamel allowing the finishing of metal 
other is a sloping shoulder a 120 degree sloped shoulder margin <coughs> alternative to 90 degree shoulder for the facial margin of metal ceramic crown so that reduces the possibility of leaving unspotted enamel and allows and leaves sufficient bulk to allow thinning for the metal framework to knife edge for acceptable aesthetics as there is less conservative uh, conservation of the tooth structure advantages but it provides bulk of material less conservative tooth structure and it is indicated in facial margin of metal ceramic crown other is radial shoulder it is a modification of shoulder finish line there is stress concentration lesser than the classic shoulder but there is less conservative uh, conservation of tooth structure and it is indicated in facial margin of metal ceramic or complete ceramic crown so a flat and a taper diamond bar it is used to prepare to prepare radial shoulder other is knife edge or feather edge margin so this finish line permits a cute margin of the metal it is used in the lingual surface of mandibular posterior teeth in tooth that have very convex axial surfaces and surfaces toward which the tooth is tilted so these are the indication it is indicated in lingual surface of the mandibular teeth teeth with very convex axial surfaces surfaces uh, toward which teeth have tilted in young patients in pin ledge preparations it is contraindicated in ceramo metal margins other is the chisel edge uh, it is a variation of the feather edge it is formed when there is large angle between the axial surface and the unprepared tooth so that is associated with excessive tapered preparation so this table is very very important for your exam point of view these are the various margins their advantages disadvantages and indication the feather edge provides conservation of tooth structure but it does not provide sufficient bulk and it is not recommended the chisel edge uh, there is conservation of tooth structure location of margin is difficult to control it is generally done on the tilted tooth so on tilted tooth which margin are given it is the chisel edge bevel it is given on the facial surface of maxillary partial coverage restoration with inlay and onlay margins the chamfer it is indicated on the cast metal restoration or the lingual surfaces of metal ceramic crown the shoulder it provides adequate bulk of restorative material but there is less conservation of tooth structure it is given on the facial margin of metal ceramic crown or complete ceramic crown the sloped shoulder there is less conservation of tooth structure and it is given on the facial margins of the metal ceramic crown the shoulder with the bevel uh it is indicated in the facial margin of the posterior metal ceramic crown with the supra gingival margin 